Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see lab 7 of SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst. In this we will create custo query language or KQL queries in Microsoft Sentinel. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I am logged on to the portal. Now I will go to Microsoft Sentinel. I click on the workspace. I will search for logs because this is the area wherein I'll run the basic KQL commands or statements. I'll cancel this. So the first is you go for search So this statement demonstrates the search operator which searches all columns in the table for the values. So in the query window we will type in search and click on run. So there are no results from the last 24 hours because I do not have enough resources that can produce results. Okay now if you will type in search in you start the brackets security event comma security alert like this a And you type in star and this again you type in run and if you want you can search for last 48 hours 3 days or 7 days okay now if you want to like I said change the time you can go for 30 minutes as well as less than as minimum as 30 minutes and now let me show you the where operator so if you will type in security event where time generated is greater than you see in ago I have to mention the time span so I'll type in one hour okay and same way if I want to specify the event ID with this I'll mention the and operator and I'll mention the event ID then you can mention any specific event ID which can be this okay again you will click on run to produce the results and then if you want to mention the time generated event ID and the account type as well right so time is this you can use the and operator or you can use another where do not forget to use this where account type is equal to then the username okay it will give you more refined results and if you want to mention two event IDs for let's say you are looking for event ID 4624 and one more event ID you can do this as well and event ID in six two four. and type in 
mention the time, select run. I am sorry to add this inverted comma, I should run. You mention the time and then run. It will give you the results. Okay. And if you want to demonstrate the use of let statement to declare variables, you can do that as well. So if we do this time one hour and then you do discard event id is equal to whatever you can mention an event id Shin security event then you type in where time generated and you mention time offset and time generated where event ID is not equal to discard event ID. Set the time and you can do this as well. Okay. And you can, this way you can use a let statement to declare a dynamic table. You can uh, use the extend operator as well, which will create a calculated column and add it to the result set. So if I want to use the extend operator, let me do this. Security event where time generated I go I will say one hour okay I'll do where process name is not equal to blank and process is not equal to blank I'll use extend equal to I'll do process name string process name and then the process Okay, so you can set the time here.
and same way you can use the order by operator you can use the project way project away operator as well and you can go through microsoft documentation to learn few basic commands view kql transactions which can be used in microsoft sentinel i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day